Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. In this lecture, we will discuss about integers and we will see some example based on integers and we will discuss about what is additive inverse of a number and uh, we will discuss some example based on that also. Okay, so let me start with what is additive inverse. Additive inverse of a number. So, student, additive inverse means if let's say I have the number 16, so what should I have to add this number so that the sum becomes 0? So, let me say if I add minus of 16 to 16 the sum will become 0. So minus 16 is an additive inverse of 16. So if you go in exam like you have to find the additive inverse of minus 76 let's say. So what you will do if there is a negative sign you will directly write a positive sign here and the same values. So the plus 66 will be a additive inverse of this will be additive inverse of minus 76. Okay. And if you go in the exam and you have to find out the additive inverse of 76 now. What you will do if there is a positive sign or there is no sign means it is positive in nature. So what you will do, you will write a negative sign here and you will write down the same number as it is. So minus 76 is additive inverse of 76. Let me give you one more example in which you have to find out what is the additive inverse of inverse of minus 56 ok this is our question and the solution will be as you are seeing here the sign is negative so our answer would be start from positive or no sign and the same number means positive 56 or you can say only 56 is the additive inverse of minus 56 students ok I hope you are pretty clear about what is additive inverse of a number so let me give you some question based on additive inverse of a number or from uh, integers uh, which might come into exam so let me write some question first so students here is the question which states that following line shows the temperature in degree Celsius at different places on a particular day. Let's say on a particular day there is a temperature of 5 degree Celsius in Shimla and in Uti it is 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14 degree Celsius in Uti and in Bangalore it will be 20, 21, 22 and now the question asked us observe this number line and write the temperature of the places marked on it so first I will write Lahul Spitti the temperature on it would be it is shown here so the minus 10 is here here will be minus 9 and now here will be minus 8 so the temperature here will be minus 8 degree celsius so now comes to Srinagar the temperature here would be it is so it is 0 this is minus 1 so this would be minus 2 right the temperature in Srinagar would be minus 2 degree celsius and what about Shimla Shimla is written over here so the temperature in Shimla will be 5 degree Celsius 
and what about Uti? It is 14 degree Celsius and what about Bangalore? It is 22 degree Celsius. Now comes to the second part of the question guys. Okay, the, what the examiner asking us is what is the difference between the hottest and the coldest place among the above. So the hottest would among these will be Bangalore because it is lying on the rightmost side of the temperature range. So the hottest is Bangalore with 22 degree Celsius temperature and the coldest is Lahul Spiti with minus 8 degree Celsius and to find out the difference between the hottest and the coldest we will write 22 minus minus of 8 so it would be 22 minus minus would be plus if you see there are two negative signs multiplying each other then it would become a positive so 22 plus 8 would be 30 degrees Celsius so the difference between the hottest and the coldest is 30 degrees Celsius and you can also find it by counting on the number line also so it is like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25, 26, 28, 29, 30. So the difference between these two temperature would be 30 degrees Celsius students. So I hope you guys are pretty clear about the question based on integers and what is the additive inverse of a number. And if you still have any doubt student, please do comment in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you there guys. Thank you.